Bonjour, monsieur. Hey, bienvenue, bienvenue. How are you these days? Yeah, great. It's going great. And, uh, you know, I'm a man of a mission. I got a message and it's spreading like a positive wildfire all over the world. It's, it's a crazy year, 2020. Tw uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 if you see 2020, is the, uh, in 2007, I did a program with the television program 2020. This was uh, a, a lot of people looked at it. And this was about the Iceman. The Iceman was called the, the human popsicle. The human popsicle, that was me. Because the day before I was into ice in Manhattan, uh, uh, New York, and uh, stood there, made a Guinness World Record, 2007. And they, uh, 2020 uh, did a, a medical mysteries documentary on me. And so uh, that remembers me of 2020. And now 2020 now, world has completement fou. The world has gotten crazy and crazier is getting. And now we come in, uh, le, le chou brave. Huh? We, we, uh, we stood our time, we stood our terrain. And now we have a great mission and message to the people. Uh, saying uh, we found a, a much better way to control our deep physiology and with that our immune system at will. So uh, uh, the people in France, they have to understand that a, uh, the, the, the control over your own deep physiology is newly discovered through science to be uh, there for any person who takes up these tools we are going to talk about and they are very simple or simplified and very strong and effective and scientifically endorsed so evidence-based there's no speculation it's we bring a choice to the people do you want to have a deep uh, control uh, with your deeper systems within yourself uh, which includes the, uh, the immune system and also your emotion, which is a, a system inside of your brain. Uh, it's there. We all have it. We, we are born with it. And it's actually a birthright. I'm talking about a birthright for all people to be happy, strong and healthy and to be able to self-regulate that. I think many people know you, but maybe there are some people who think like, who is this man? Dressed up like this <laughs> and with the big bed. Is that Santa Claus or something, you know? No, I'm a simple man, <clears throat> yet uh, I'm teaching doctors and, uh, and, and, and professors all over the world about this new science, this new area, new field and uh, of discovery and i did that through going into not into books but by going into nature and nature the most aggressive way to meet yourself into nature is going into the cold and that's what i did i challenged my body and my mind in the cold uh, so much to the extremes that uh, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, BBC. Now Hollywood uh, film is going to be made uh, next year. Now I'm working on series with the BBC and uh, History Channel. And it's all there now, but it took me 40 years, 44 years to show that going into the cold actually has great benefits for human mankind. It is an undiscovered area of uh, our how to experience the winter, say in France, the same thing as in the Netherlands, in Belgium, in, uh, in, in Switzerland, uh, Italy, etc. In all those parts, we have winter. And the winter is a great period to exercise your mind and your body every day. So they call me the Iceman because I did so many records in the extremes exposed my body and my mind. This was uh, considered to be impossible. And now I'm teaching all over the world the benefits of cold, gradual 
called exposure. So for people who do not know me, I am the ice man. And you know, but even better, I'm a nice man. Did you already, um, uh, how were you as a, as a child? As a child, I, like any other child. Only I saw, when I was 12 years, I decided uh, within myself, uh, uh, they think it's normal that there is war, disease, depression, abuse, exploitation, pollution. They think it is normal. I think it is sick and I am going to do something about it. And that's where it started when I was 12 years. So any person of 12 years, they can be really strong because they, once they begin to believe, they neurologically invest in every moment which is growing, growing, growing into a belief that is able to shake the foundations of science itself. What is the way we don't know, but we follow the road like a river and it reaches out to the ocean where great power and possibilities are there. And that, that's not about power. Oh, look at me and this. It's belief culminating in uh, showing that we inside our bodies and minds through science, very, very detailed scrutiny of science, uh, that we are able to change that what was thought impossible. And now it's there. This is what I do. It all began with a, a normal kid who likes to play like every other kid. Now, what I want, yesterday, or before yesterday, I was in Amsterdam. I, my older son is 37, my younger son is three years old. And the three-year-old, he wants to play. And so uh, I drove past a playground. And uh, he, he said I had to stop, but I couldn't. So I had to turn all Amsterdam, then you have to go all the way again. So I did, and then I found a parking spot and went to the playground, seven kids were there playing, and they knew me. There's six to 12 years, they knew me, Wim Hofman. I'm Wim Hof, and they, but they said, Wim Hofman. And then they wanted photos with me. I'm with the new generations, I tell you. Not only in, uh, here in the Netherlands, but in all the world. Because now people are able, and youngsters are looking into YouTube and the information, uh, information comes there with images and everything. They will choose their own way. That is the new generation. We will not go anymore into governments and politics and, and, and just a couple of people into the power and we all follow like sheep. They, they will become independent and I will help them therein. To make them independent is giving them tools to explore and control the deepest of their own physiology of the mind and body. And because I go through the science, there is no doubt about it, but they, the young new generation, they will change the paradigm. They will not follow the old uh, power systems, which is uh, destroying the planet. They are destroying the planet. They, they are blind and keep on going. This has got to stop. And the young generation, for them I am, and they know me. So how was I? I was a young kid, playful like all the kids, and I'm still playful. I'm more playful than my own kids. But uh, uh, th th that's what it is, and that's what we should uh, be and stay. But uh, when I was 12, I, I, I saw so much despair, negativity, abuse, exploitation, pollution, disease, depression, etc. around me. I thought, I'm going to do something about it, because uh, it needs change. And the shoe, Brav, he is for change. They are for fundamental changes, and, uh, and that's why they investigate, and that's why you guys are here. So you're my brothers. You are my brothers, my family. We share the same beautiful, uh, 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 it's not a utopia, it's a mindset that uh, is natural and we want to go back to our inner nature and, uh, uh, and therein is everybody born with the ability to become happy, strong 
and healthy. And we will make sure that it gets to all the individuals in the world. It's a way of life. How do you, how do you practice this, this mindset, this way of life uh, in your own... It's a belief. In, in your own daily base. If you go into the cold, I go every day in the cold. I got a freezer here which goes to minus 30 almost. And uh, I train there and I in the water every day outside. I don't use my swimming pool in the summer. I use it in the winter and when, it, when it's cold. It really gets and touches me deep into the stress, uh, the, the cold on the body, the stress on the body. I exercise my mind. Before I go into the cold, I, uh, I set my mind. And that makes me very able to go very controlled into the cold and uh, go, if I want to, an hour outside swimming and uh, have a great time. That means I deal with stress. And I've learned through that, and this is shown in science, in brain scans, that I'm able to tap into where science thought it is impossible to tap into the periaqueductal gray hemisphere, which is the brain stem, the most primitive part of the brain, which was thought inaccessible. Now I showed how to tap in neurologically at will and to activate that area. And then uh, cold water came upon my body and uh, I did not motionless, just using the thought. Then the body was able to take care of the temperature uh, control uh, on my skin. My skin temperature did not go down. And this is dealing with stress. So through our neural signaling, that's the will, we are able now to, uh, to control, to um, activate the neurology, which is dealing with stress coming on the body. And that is new science. This is what uh, 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 what I do now every day, uh, since 44 years, every day in the cold, made my neurological pathways go into the stress mechanisms of the brain. And uh, after the study, they said, we, uh, uh, this is a transformational technique that will change mental health care. Because if you give people a sense of control within their own brain, then depression will be no more there their psychosis, their feeling bad, it will all not be there anymore. Because you are able to uh, intervene neurologically at will into the deepest part of the brain, which is, uh, uh, which is into the emotion, which is into dopamine, uh, serotonin, cannabinoids, uh, opioids, uh, uh, all those things. The pharmacy of ours is in the deepest of the brain, thought of inaccessible. That's why there is a, a pharmaceutical industry, because we don't know how to tap into our own pharmacy. And that is because we alienate it from uh, 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 nature so much, wearing clothes all the time, means destimulate our biggest organ, which is our skin, from nature. And uh, uh, all the thermal receptors and electroreceptors inside, uh, on, uh, in our body and pain receptors, they're all there, millions of them, and they are connected to the vascular system. The vascular system is 100,000 kilometers inside, capillaries, arteries, and veins, and they contain millions of little muscles. If you expose it to cold, then those millions of little muscles are stimulated they begin to help the blood flow uh, go through and that reaches the cells then much better with uh, uh, oxygen nutrients the vitamins and the heart rate will go down because it no longer needs to compensate for the bad condition of those muscular uh, muscular tone within the vascular system it's uh, so what uh, what happens if you go regularly into cold then your heart rate will go down. That means stress will go out of the body and not with uh, 10 beats a minute, but uh, 20 to 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means no cortisol and glucose anymore because it's a signal if the heart rate goes faster, it's a signal to the liver to activate glucose and uh, cortisol. 
And that's a big problem in our society because that in long term creates cortisol. Uh, a cor a cortisol creates arterial sclerosis, which is killer number one in our society, cardiovascular related diseases. And then uh, that's, uh, the heart rate goes down 24 hours a day. And then the energy uh, uh, is much more because the blood flow is helped through the muscular tone, through the stimulation, uh, through the skin, and then uh, it reaches much better the cells. So I do it every day because I don't need to think. I know how it works. I just go for the feeling, for the rush, for the being. And it's amazing. Every day I want to get this hot dog inside the cold water and cool down because we are cool. I know you um, since I was a kid. I'm Dutch as well. Uh, so I know you since, since I was a kid. And I remember that uh, in the beginning, people looked at, at you like uh, kind of this, this strange but interesting person. Um, now, and then you, you became like a guinea pig in, in many, uh, many scientific uh, research and yeah. studies. Now there is there is proof um, that that you were you were right all the time. Mm. That, and for that it is beautiful for me to experience recognition. And now I'm with the best researchers of the world, and they see the potential of this. Um, uh, doing uh, right now a study, for example, with San Francisco. And that is with the co-author, uh, with uh, uh, Elisa Ippel, Professor Elisa Ippel, on the DNA. She is the top of the top of the research uh, capacity of America on the DNA, together with uh, Elizabeth uh, Blackburn, uh, who is a Nobel Prize winner on the DNA. They are doing the research right now on this method on the DNA. Next month, we have the results and uh, also depression. Because depression, DNA, it's uh, related. You can read it out. Uh, what you do with this method on the DNA, you can read it, and then you know uh, 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 how uh, depressed people are or how deregulated uh, the hormonal system is through whatever is going on. There could be oxidative stress, could be uh, emotions, etc. It all works on the DNA, and that uh, then deregulates our hormonal system. That uh, and then is called depression. Depression then is gone, and then you have depression. So we can uh, we are dealing with that, and they see great results coming therefrom, and it's very much more than promising. In Detroit, I did also brain scans with the professors over there, and they said it is a transformational technique that will change mental health care. No, that's what I want. I want to bring happiness to those who deserve it, but don't know how to get it, who are suffering from a depression in any way, shape, and learn to regulate what is out of balance within the hormonal system. And so for that, uh, those people, uh, we have found this now. And that, that is much more than any professor or doctor is able to say. So I was crazy, considered to be a crazy man, and, and now I'm a genius. Ah, that, 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 this is maybe the way uh, that Dutch genialiteit is dicht bij gekte en andersom. Uh, the, the genius is close to craziness and the other way around. Yeah, I think uh, the Dutch people, a bit Dutchy as they are, they uh, first look at you as being crazy. And then later find out if you just keep on going because you believe in what you do, that's me. And then uh, they say, but you are a genius. I say, okay, it was genius then, it's genius now. And I'm still fucking, oh, sorry, I can't say fucking because that's French. <laughs> Not really, but, you know, uh, no, bloody crazy. I'm bloody crazy about my life and my wife and my kids and uh, about you, about life and sharing it. It's so beautiful where we live, that we live. And therein, there are more possibilities and more potential to discover. And that's what I'm doing uh, uh, right now as well.
Do you have to be a special person like you to experience this? No, uh, absolutely not. I'm a simple person, but uh, I think I'm special. Like we are all special because we are alive. Life is special. And if you experience the specialness within yourself, then you are special. So I'm special because I experience the specialness uh, within my body and I go for it. And I will be uh, not w blocked or without from uh, uh, realizing the full potential of my mind, brain, the seat of the mind and my body. I want to uh, know what the soul is all about, uh, despite of what the world is doing to each other, to the animals, to the forests and you know, all that. There are a lot of good people, and there are also a lot of bad people. It's only because they don't know that the best is yet to come. And that is the guarantee to control your own happiness, your own strength and your own health, or to be unconditionally here and now in love with that special specialness. Um, do you also pay attention to what you eat? Yes, I eat once a day. I eat once a day. We eat too much. Eating, when you feel that you want to eat, then the neurology is into revision. Your eyes become bigger, your pupils become bigger, you become more alert, you become clarity, you begin to look. That is very healthy for your neurology, stimulating the neurology. What we do is think about food. Oh, we need a petit déjeuner, we need a, 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 a lunch, and then a dinner, a dîner, and, a, a, and anything in between. It's because we think now so. We don't feel so, but we think so. And then we begin to condition to those uh, thoughts and, uh, and then we uh, 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 breakfast. One meal a day is more than enough. And what do you, what do you eat? Uh, I'm a vegetarian. And uh, what I eat is yeah, it's a lot of greens. A lot of greens and uh, I like bread. I like cheese too. And uh, so uh, all, all those, I like food. Uh, and when I, when I eat, I eat uh, 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 with a lot of pleasure because my body is really exerting the food at that moment. And then the re neurological revision is done and I, 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 it's, a, it's feast, it's beautiful. It's no thoughts, just food. A lot of natural food as well? Yeah, absolutely. Food, like means... nuts, fruits. Uh... Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Food needs to be food. Our bodies uh, are not built to process uh, chemi chemistry, which is added, added uh, to the food, which is not ours. It's a stra a strange to our. It's poison. So, I like food, not poison. No additives, and uh, I, I, I take it on as much as I can. Because this society is built with the food industry, with so much additives and so many kinds, and it's uh, it's no good. It's it's working together with the pharmaceuticals. You become sick. Soon or later, you become sick. And uh, the, and the governments permit it. They let it go. They want a healthy economy. You know what is a healthy economy? When the pharmaceutical industry has a lot of clients and a lot of uh, brutal uh, national product, uh, etc., as well as the uh, uh, food industry. And then we gas up even more with the oil industry. And, ah, nice, we pollute outside and we pollute inside. It's no good, it's gotta stop. Do you sometimes get in trouble for saying things like this? Uh, no, I think what I say is about the soul and everybody has a soul even if he has disconnected himself uh, from it uh, 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 to a certain level, they will remember. I'm just a simple guy. I'm a good guy. I just want your happiness, your strength and health. And I will stand firm without fear until that is going to happen. If you want to block me, you block the soul within yourself. You wouldn't like that because it's love. For many people, 
um, in in uh, who have like a, a certain way of life, who decided like uh, to only eat raw food or to to change their way of life and say like, all right, this is. For a lot of those people, there is like a moment they say, and this is it. This is the moment where I where I do it in a different way. Was there in your life a, a moment like that? Yes, that's when I was 12 years old. I, at 12 years old, I decided I'm going to do something about this. I think it is a sick world, a, a, a world where pollution just keeps on going. I mean, the plastics in the ocean get into the fish, get into the ecosystem, gets into our bodies, will create in long term neurological diseases. And then we do not understand, and we do as if we do not understand. But everybody understands that shit is shit. And this is biological shit, chemistry, and it's not going, it's going to, uh, 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 it's going to be li very little particles, it's going to be taken up into the food chain and it deregulates because it's no food, it's, it's synthesized. So the body doesn't know how to uh, act upon it and then it deregulates our bodies. And this will happen. And so this nonsense in the world, it needs to uh, stop. And I saw that when I was 12 years and uh, more people begin to awaken uh, to uh, this nonsense going on. They cannot really put their finger on it, but they don't want to be part of it no more. They are not just going to follow it like lemmings into the abyss and just jump and go like so many do. This mentality has got to stop. People have to become more conscious of themselves, independent, that is, from uh, presidents and politics and all those who get, you see the fertility of, of, of all these systems. They are not able to deal with uh, even a virus. Then, then everybody, uh, locked down here, locked down there. Uh, 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 hey, they talk about a lot of masks and, uh, and social distancing. Okay, I respect it, but why are you not talking about natural ways to uh, enforce your own immune system, which we have shown in science? Why, why are you not talking about that? Uh, we know why. Because the system wants to keep on going, wants to stay alive in having clients in the pharmaceutical industry, which is economy and keep on going with the food industry to uh, to make it uh, 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 profitable and, uh, and, uh, and lower the prices to keep the meat industry uh, going because they are subsidized and it's a killing 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 system is insensitive and it's not for our health we got to stand up for our rights to be happy strong and healthy because that's the natural way. We are built to be happy, strong and healthy. And now I come up here with these tools, uh, scientifically endorsed, and I'm just handing them over to the rightful owner. Uh, 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 those are the people. They have the right to own their own happiness, strength and uh, health. Um, does it also help you to, to deal with, with um, with daily life and with impactful, impactful moments, um, because I I uh, I believe uh, a person close to you, a loved one, uh, yeah. passed away. Oh yes, that was in '95. She jumped from eight stories down because she had a mental terror, schizophrenia they called it, manic depressed and psychosis and all and they could not help her. Let me say now, now after uh, 25 years, I found ways and I am showing in brain scans with psychiatrists, uh, professors, how to tap into the deepest part of the brain and being able to regulate our own mood. So it all began with a, a great despair. I w this was the mother uh, the, the, of my four children. This was the love of my life and she was very lively and then this happened within her brain a deregulation i could not help it uh, at that time but now i'm very able to uh, help millions of people with the same 
uh, uh, same uh, mental disorders, mental brain disorders, we can call them better. And um, uh, yes, it of course it helped me myself personally uh, when uh, the trauma happened. Uh, I just went into the cold. The cold is makes you not think, makes you survive. So that was the only time I was not thinking about my grief, about my heartbroken uh, state of being. And uh, in that way, I could take care of my four children with very little money I had and I was left back. And uh, uh, there, it's like a black hole, but uh, the cold water healed me. My children made me survive. So yes, that, uh, uh, there, we're, together with these breathing uh, uh, techniques, uh, they helped me to cleanse uh, myself deeply every day because uh, emotions coming from grief, from uh, sorrow, uh, it has a direct effect on the functionality of your physical being. And that uh, is now proven, but back then it was not proven. I just followed my regimen of uh, one meal a day, uh, Sundays I fasted uh, uh, every Sunday, and then uh, uh, doing the breathing in the morning, uh, and the cold every day, and some exercising, physical exercises, uh, not too much, it uh, doesn't uh, need to be too much, but very intensive. When I do it, it's intensive, strong. I'm a strong man because I uh, every, uh, every day I wake myself up in the depth. Uh, I say uh, uh, I die once a day. Like my ego, I go past what I, uh, 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 I cannot anymore, but I keep on going once a day. And the cold makes you able to go past your petty thoughts. Yeah, it's nice to think, etc., but it also inflames your body. If you think too much, and, uh, and then I just go into the ice water, and then I shut up inside, and I feel great. Is it also a way, because, um, um, is it also a way to, to uh, Um, I think you already feel the feel the question I want to ask you, um, because you you um, you couldn't help your the love of your life. Mm -hmm. um, is this also a way like to to of course. to to make it up? Uh, no. Or no. or how? Yeah. The, the how, thing how, is, how would you articulate that? I think uh, uh, maybe I was chosen to do that. Uh, the universe has its ways, and I just follow the flow. Uh, to help myself, that's one, but to help millions of others, that's a blessing. And that blessing, I go for the blessing. I go for the blessing of my soul. I will not be, uh, I, I'm making history now. I'm a man, a simple man, changing science uh, uh, fundamentally and showing that the system is not really serving us anymore. We need to change the system and become more independent from the system, yeah, yeah, regain a, a absolute control uh, within ourselves. And I found the tools and the ways how to tap in. And uh, through the science, it is like beyond uh, speculation. And I say to the people who are listening to this, who are reading about this, Hey man, just try it once. And if it doesn't work, just get rid of it. But if it works, man, uh, bless you. What is, the, what is the most important message for the people, for, yes. the, people, for the people in France or, or other countries looking at this interview? What, what is your message to them? My, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, the message is very clear. Uh, happiness, strength, and health, scientifically endorsed, shows to be able to be a guaranteed now. It's a choice. It's a non-dogmatic choice. The happiness is the hormonal system, the control over the hormonal system. We have shown in science, uh, comparative uh, studies, uh, to be able to have a much deeper control over the hormonal system. That is happiness. 
endorphins, dopamines, serotonins, cannabinoids, even pain, uh, opioids. We are able to, that's all part of the hormonal system. We can control that much better than before was thought possible. So that's happiness. It's a choice. You take on these tools, and then it's your choice. Just try it out once and you will see. Feeling is understanding. That is one. Then two, the immune system, health. Health is the immune system. If we are able to show a much deeper control over the immune system, then we are able to guarantee our health. And, uh, and this is what we have shown. People got injections with the bacteria and they, for the first time, were able to show 100% uh, not becoming sick. And uh, that is control over the immune system. So that's the health. And then you get strength. Strength is the, uh, the ability to create the amount uh, more than you uh, need of energy. That is to be the master or the inf uh, possible influence inside the mitochondria, uh, those are metabolic processes that creates energy, that creates ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is our mo molecules, which is energy. You are the one to be uh, 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 able to generate more, uh, all the energy you need. So it's there, it's like nuclear science even, the, about the energy, because in the end, uh, DNA and going deeply inside, it's like nuclear science. Um, we are able to create much more energy. It's like splitting energy, it's amazing. You know, the, how we work on the RNA and DNA. We are the future and we're doing the studies right now. So my greatest mission or my mission is, uh, uh, with uh, one message. It is now a choice to be happy, strong, and healthy. So, uh, that is the composition of what I call love. I love you. I want to give you the tools. You have to discover yourself, but your feeling will be the understanding. You try it once, and you will see experience that it works. Because it's beyond words. It's the deeper uh, being of yourself coming alive at will to you. It's also the message like um, people are much stronger than they think and much more capable of... Oh yes, uh, 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 part of that of course is that the confidence of people uh, within will grow uh, limitless they will be able to take on uh, the soul's message within. The journey of the soul, the realization of the best of yourself, which is a journey and to be uh, fearless therein. That, uh, if you are able to control those mechanisms earlier mentioned, like uh, the immune system, your uh, endocrine system, your energy metabolism, if you, then you have great allies. And then you know, hey, uh, I got a deeper control, but also a deeper sense. Then, and only then, you're able to discover what the soul has got in store for you. Does this also have to do with uh, spirituality? Uh, <clears throat> we are spirits. We are spirits. Only we are so much consumed by our thoughts that we no longer experience our uh, spirit, spirituality. That is, uh, is uh, spirituality is just being here without thoughts and, uh, uh, and feel great. That is spirituality. So when we learn to go deeper inside of our brain and we can, we provide that with these tools because we will bring the blood flow in the deeper areas of the brain then the neurology starts to awaken that is spirituality that goes beyond the thought processes into the depth and then your feelings begin to become stronger and that is spirituality uh, that we uh, uh, that will be the consequence of your um, uh, exercise of these tools some people see you as a as a guru how do you how do you feel about that <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely not the guru. You are the guru yourself, within yourself. Guru means literally the one who brings light. That's you. I only provide some tools. I have two last things. Um, we were talking about the, 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 the system we are, we are all living in. Do you feel like um, with the Shubrav, um, which is more and more people are, 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 are starting uh, awakening, to are, are awakening. Yes. Do you have that feeling as well? Do you, do you have that? Yes, I do. Uh, I see awakenings every, uh, and people need direction. We give direction. I got 44 years of practice here in, and uh, the last 20 years, uh, or say uh, uh, the last 10 years, I've been uh, fully into science. So there is no dogma about it. We got the tools. Now the time is arrived for the people to receive it. They are ready to take on the nonsense and to make sense again, deeply inside. So, and for those people, I think they are brave people to take on, pass their fear, pass their paradigm, a new way, a new way where we are able to guarantee happiness and strength and health within us and our beloveds. And you, you feel what's right. I, th I really believe that everyone yes. feels exactly. in themselves exactly. what's right. Exactly. Where is the God feeling that uh, something is right and you cannot follow it? They have suppressed nature so much and our inner nature and outside exploiting and abusing and polluting the nature. It's over. It's done. Obsolete. C-T-R-L. Alt. Delete. Goodbye. I thank you so much. Yes. Is there is there some last thing you would like to add, or we didn't we didn't uh, yes, articulate right right, right um, I think uh, with this uh, uh, article, with this interview, we covered it all, and I say uh, I love you, uh, I love you all, and uh, this is coming from my heart, and it's time that we are waking to the love and bring it out to all the people all and take away the suffering we take away the darkness we got the science and then the knowledge of the light is coming and it's there and at uh, this time the, it's not only knowledge is the light of the control over our neurology which is the nervous system which is the uh, autonomic level that is the deepest thought of inaccessible now it's there and what is the nervous system it's light it's electricity and you are the one to turn it on. Happy days. I'm going to give you a hug. Thank you so much, dear Vin. Thank you so much. Take him on, take him on. Brothers in arms. For Absolutely. the love. Absolutely. We are strong. Yeah. Yeah, we are. And I think this is, this is such a, a powerful and great message. Yes. Um, and and uh, how powerful for you to be here, asking the right questions, looking me straight in the eye. I see all these things. Of I course. see where you come from. And what you are doing is great work. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, yeah. beautiful magazine. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>